All right, so this is going to be 7-6 common logarithm. So we're going to talk about, there's several things on here, but let's just go ahead and jump right into it. I guess the first thing we're going to do is we have, we're just going to use the calculator to evaluate the first few. And uh, there is actually a log key on your calculator, and it's right here, right by the 7. So I'm not going to do all of these, obviously. Otherwise, you're just going to watch me enter, uh, type in points into a calculator and get a number. So that's not going to be very useful. So log of 18, that's just going to give us 1.255. Well, now we're going to round to the nearest tenth. So this is approximately 1.2. Well, actually, 1.3, if we're going to round. All right, and on number two, same idea. We're going to press this log key that's beside the 7. And we're going to type in a 39. That's going to give us a 1.6, approximately. And we're going to round to the nearest tenth. <coughs> okay. So that's essentially how you do the, this first few, right? So just be aware that you have that log key that you're actually going to use quite a bit while using this homework. Okay. So now on the next part, <coughs> we're actually going to use those logarithms, all right, that log key to solve these. So essentially, if you're ever wondering why is the logarithm useful, all right, in math land at least, that's the only way for us to get to this power. So when we have a variable, all right, uh, that happens to be in the power. The only way to get that variable out of it, out of the power, is to use a logarithm. So essentially, this is what I'm saying. Okay, we're gonna take the log, and actually, this log is actually log base 10, even though we never write this 10, but that's log base 10. We have the log of 4 to the power of 3x is equal to the log of 12. Right? Again, I'm just taking the logarithm of both sides now. The next thing is something you should already know by now, all right? Uh, at least not too long ago, but you should know by now that if you have a power, all right, the logarithm rules or the logarithm uh, properties say that I can bring this 3x from here and I can bring it over here. Therefore, this is 3x log of 4 is equal to log of 12. So one more time. The logarithm is the... The properties of logarithms is what allows me to bring something that's up as a power, bring it in front of the log, and that now it makes this a whole lot easier. Okay, so now my goal is to try to isolate this x. Okay, so I'm going to divide both sides by the log of 4. All right, that will cancel that completely. I'm going to divide this by the log of 4. And then finally, I'm also going to divide by 3. All right, I'm dividing by 3, so I can get rid of this 3. Now, the only thing I would say is be careful. All right, The log of 12 divided by the log of 4 is not the log of 3. All right, Log of 12 is a certain number, and log of 4 is a certain number. So if you have all of that, just make sure you type it all in your calculator. Okay, So we have the log of 12 divided by 3 log of 4. Okay, so our answer is going to be point, since we're running to the nearest tenth, we're going to round that to point six. Okay, so we're going to say that x is approximately point six. Okay, now on number eight, we're going to use the same idea. All right, we're trying to notice that the variable is in the power, so I'm going to use a logarithm. All right, so I'm going to take the log of both sides. And then now what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to use those properties of logarithms to bring this power in front of the logarithm. So we have x plus 2 log of 6 is equal to log of 18. Okay. At this point, notice that um, this is x plus 2 times log of 6. So I'm going to divide both sides by log of 6. Okay, and then finally, I have x plus 2 is equal to the log of 18 divided by the log of 6. Now, I would honestly rather prefer you to wait till the end to round, but if you really wanted to, you can just write a number for both, for uh, this quantity right here, and then subtract the 2. Either way, at this point, I'm going to subtract 2 
from each side. And then my answer, therefore, is going to be x is approximately, and I will just use my calculator to try, type in the whole entire thing. Um, we're going to press this button alpha y equal, and that gives me the fraction if you have this type of calculator. So we're going to write this as log of 18 over log of 6. And then we're going to subtract 2 from it. Okay, so the answer is negative 3.8, which we're going to round to negative 0 0.4. Okay, so that's that for that question. Now, um, I'm going to, let's see what I can do here. Let me do number 9. It is different enough, so we'll do number 9. I'm going to definitely skip a few here. So again, we're going to take the log of both sides. Okay, and just be aware that this power that normally goes here, I can move it in front of the logarithm. So this is 4x minus 2. Okay, now just like before, we're going to go ahead and try to get the x by itself. Notice that I wrote parentheses so that you would know that you're multiplying this quantity times the log of 5. So first step is that I will divide by log of 5. Alright, so we're going to divide this by log of 5. So I end up with 4x minus 2 is equal to some number. Now, that number, you might want to, at this point, if you want to go ahead and just type type in what, what is the log of 120 divided by log of 5, you can. I think I will just because I do have, I'm going to have to subtract, add the 2, excuse me, and then divide by 4. So I don't want to cram you full of, numbers that you make it lost on. So this is about 2.97, uh, let's call the 5. Okay, so I'm rounding just a little bit, but notice that I'm not rounding to the 10th. All right, I'm going to wait to do that till the end. So now at that point, we're going to do the same thing we've always done with the linear function. We're going to add the 2 and then divide by 4. So we're going to add 2. So this is going to be 4x is equal to 4.975. And then we're going to divide this by 4. Okay. So again, we're going to divide each side by 4. And when I divide that by 4, I get x is approximately 1 point, we're going to call that 1.2. Okay. So that's essentially how you do that type of problem. Um, let's do one more than inequality. Uh, the inequality is actually going to work out pretty much the same. So again, I'm going to take the log base 10, or we're just going to call this the log, on both sides. It's greater than the log of 21. We're going to bring this power that originally was right here by the properties of logarithms, it allows me to bring this 3x minus 1 over here. Okay, so that's what I got so far. So we're going to go ahead and divide both sides by the log of 7. Okay, and I'm going to end up with 3x minus 1 is greater than whatever that number is, all right, and to find out that number, I'm going to use my calculator. So we have, let's see, log of 21 divided by log of 7. And remember, you need to put it in like that. This is not the same as the log of 3. All right. This one gave me a fraction, which I actually don't want. I want the decimal point. So again, this is not the same thing as log of 3. Just remember that. So this is going to be 1.56, call it 5, okay? And then now we're going to do the same thing we've always done with the linear function, which is add the 1, add 1. That's going to give me 3x is greater than 2.59565, excuse me. And then we're going to divide that by 3. So. Now at this point, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. Alright, I'm going to write it over here. Hopefully you can see that. 
So x is up greater than or equal to point, uh, point 0.9 in this case. I got a point 0.854, so we're going to round that to point 0.9. On this one, obviously, it's an approximation, so um, that's the way we're going to write that. Okay, so again, then nothing really changes with the, uh, the inequality. The only thing you have to be aware of is don't forget that if you divide by a negative, if this would have been a negative 3, then that would have switched the inequality from that, from greater than to less than. Okay, so just remember that. Okay, so I'm going to skip some of these. Uh, let me do, I guess, the one that's different is 14, so let's go to 14. So <clears throat> on this one, okay, we're going to take the log of both sides, log base 10 of both sides. So this is going to be the log of x plus 5. This is going to be x minus 2. And this is going to be the log of 3 on this side. Okay, so do save a little bit of space because this one's going to be different enough. Now the problem that I face is that I have x's both here and here. Okay. So that's what I, that's what's going to make a little bit more difficult on us. So the thing that you do if you have a logarithm on both sides is that you're going to I'm going to go ahead and distribute. Okay, so this is one term, so I'm going to distribute this. I'm going to write this as x log of two plus five log of two is equal to x log of three. And this one's going to be minus two log of three. Okay. Okay, so I did all of that and this is why. Okay, now I have all the x terms, right? I have an x term here. And I'm going to maybe underline it so you can see it. I'm going to try to bring those two together. All right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to subtract this x, x log of 3, to this side and simultaneously I'm going to subtract this to the other side. Now, um, again, I w really wish I had more room on this. But we're going to subtract the 5 log of 2 from this side and that side. Okay, so that's gone. And then simultaneously, I'm going to subtract this x log of 3. Okay. Now remember this pink line right here, I was just trying to, I'm not dividing. Okay, I'm just, I was trying to show you which one are the like terms. So, Anyways, long story short, on the left side I end up with x log of 2 minus x log of 3. And on the right side I end up with everything that does not have an x. In this case that's going to be negative 2 log of 3 minus 5 log of 2. Okay, um, at this point I am going to switch out to another piece of paper so you can hopefully see that. I apologize ahead of time if you did print this notes off, you may not have room, right? I don't want to scrunch this because this is when it gets perhaps difficult. Okay, so on the left side, okay, I have a common factor of x. I'm going to factor an x out. Okay, log of 2 and log of 3 are not like terms, so don't do anything with those. So if I factor that, I end up with log of 2 minus log of 3 is equal to all of this stuff. Okay, now, uh, let's write it out. It doesn't really hurt if I do that. You just have to be really careful. All right, and now finally, here's the weirdest part. Log of 2 minus log of 3 is just some number. All right, and that's what you can't forget. And it's difficult for some algebra students to understand that. It's just some number. So what that means is that I can divide both sides by the log of 2 minus the log of 3 because both of these are just some number, okay? So I'm going to divide this also by the log of 2 minus the log of 3. Now, you can if you want to. You could use the rules of logarithms and put that 2 up here as a power, put the 5 as a power. You can do many things, but I think for you all it's just easier if you just write it all out and then at the end of it all, okay, at the end of this, I'm just going to type it in exactly like I see it. Okay, so remember I press the alpha y equals button. So I have negative 2 log of 3 minus 
5 log of 2 all over log of 2 minus the log of 3. Okay. And again, like I said, there's many tricks to try to combine these into a much nicer looking equation, but I think uh, that can get confusing for some of you, so I won't. Okay, so give me that fraction. Let's. I really don't want any fractions, so I'm going to turn this into a decimal. And if that, if you have that problem, just press math and go to option number two, and that should give me a decimal instead. So we got that the answer is 13. Point about 13.9665. All right. Now, because we're running to the nearest tenth, that means that the answer is going to be x is approximately uh, 14 in this case. 14.0. Okay. Um, there is perhaps one way to check that if you wanted to do this. If you wanted to check that, notice that this is kind of a crazy number, right? So we can press the STO key, store, and then we can press X. And we can store that as such. So now the calculator thinks that X is that 13.966 number. And then if I did this correctly, I should get all about the same answer. Okay, so if I press that, I should get some answer. And if I have this, I should get an answer that's very similar to it at the very least. Okay, so notice that, notice that I didn't say exactly sometimes because of the way the calculator rounds. You may get a slightly different answer, but notice that these are almost the same. Okay, so that is that for that problem. Hopefully it wasn't too much for you. Now, at the end, okay, we do have this rule, and there is a key for this. I'm not 100% I'm not sure why they give you these. Notice that the formula is actually up here. Okay, you have, that's the formula you have to use for that. So if you have a log base anything, all right, this is how you do this with the calculator. You have a log base 3 of 16. So... To do that, you would need to write this. This is the same thing as the log. Uh, let me see, where am I at? I kind of got lost a little bit. This would be the log of 16 divided by the log of 3. Okay, and that gives an approximation of what that is. It doesn't give you exactly the answer, but it does give you an approximation of it. So we have the log of 16 divided by the log of 3. Okay, so that gives you about... They still want us to round to the 10th. I'm not too crazy about that, but that's what they want, so I will. So, this is approximately 2.5. Uh, let me just see, let me use my my knowledge of of this calculator. There is a way to put a log base on here. Okay, yeah. You can tell it's pretty much the same. Okay. Now, I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to show you this, but I'll show it to you anyways. If you're looking for a certain log base of something, all right, you just go to math. And then if you scroll up, it's faster. If you scroll up, this is option number, uh, in this case, letter A. So notice that it says log base. So one more time, if you press math, scroll up, or down, it doesn't matter until you find log base, which in this case is option A. If you press enter, after that's pretty self-explanatory, you can just do it like that, and there's your answer, okay? Well, other than that, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot to do to this, but it is kind of difficult, all right? So make sure that if you get lost, especially in a problem like this, make sure you come and ask.